Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Galaxy A56 multitasking features. Let's begin! Now, there are two main features uh, that you can enable and use in order to improve your multitasking cap capabilities. First one is floating window and the second one is split screen. Both of these settings can be found if we go into the settings, scroll all the way down and go to advanced features. In here we can go to multi window and as you can see here we have two options, swipe for split screen and swipe for pop up view. Uh, as you can see uh, they are both disabled so let's enable the split screen and let's click it for a little tutorial as you can see now in order to change to the split screen view we have to swipe up with two our fingers from the bottom of the screen into middle in order to enter the portrait view um, so all we have to do is just press like this however few applications are actually a uh, few applications doesn't work, uh, are not supported by this, uh, like the settings, for example. So let's switch over to, I don't know, Play Store, and let's try the shortcut like this. And as you can see, it works just fine. We can now enter our settings, and here we have our split screen, which allows us to use two applications simultaneously. We can always press this little three dots here, to switch the applications so the bottom one will, will become the, up, the, the upper one and the upper one will become the bottom one. You can also press the little star icon here uh, so if we want to use uh, the very specific duo of applications for example if you take an online test in your school and for some reason you want to have your gallery right next to it with maybe features, maybe photos of the answers, then you can always add an after to a home screen or edge panel. And we can always press and hold in order to change the ratio. So now I will make my settings a lot bigger and my little, oh, it's pretty hard to use, and my uh, Google Play Store a little smaller. And in order to leave it, all you have to do is swipe one application all the way down. Or we can always, let me quickly enable it once again. So let's press, oh, let's press and hold. Or we can just go into the tabs menu and simply close it. And that's one of the multitasking features. The other one is floating window. In order to enable it, we have to go once again all the way down into the settings towards advanced features and multi-window. Now we want to enable swipe for pop-up view. And as you can see here, we can enable a pop-up view by going over uh, from either sides of the screen. I would advise you to increase the corner area as by default, as you can see, let's set it to the smallest one. And uh, whenever I try to do it, let's say on my Play Store, uh, it's really hard to do. Okay, this time I, it actually worked the first uh, for the first time. However, normally you can always uh, just extend uh, your control center instead of uh, your floating window. So I would advise you to increase the corner area for a bit. And. Yeah, let's uh, go how to use it. Uh, let's say we can do this. Oh, as you can see, I'm, I will probably have, I will probably struggle. Oh, or not. Uh, you have to pull your finger from one side, from the one top corner of your screen into the middle. So let's say I want my floating window to be this size, and now I have a little floating window of my Google Play Store. We can press and hold the little bar here in order to move it around. Uh, we can also drop here to open it in the split screen view, uh, but we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, let's go back to our Play Store, let's go back to our floating window. We can always just 
click it and oh yeah click it and here we have a few different options we can close the window entirely we can press this in order to minimize it and now it is a little floating icon so let's say i want to enable my settings so i have my settings and i can always click on this icon in order to open my little play store once again whenever i click it i can also press and hold this icon to automatically switch to the split screen mode so let me quickly let's quickly press that and let's remove it and let's go back into the floating window mode and lastly we can always press this icon here and to basically uh, hide the options uh, as there are many options so we can always just press oh i don't want maps here uh, the maps are pretty useless uh, so whenever you uh, press this icon uh, the little icons right here will always be visible so let's say if you have trouble uh, actually clicking the little bar um, you can always just press uh, the little tab icon right here in order to have all the tools right uh, at the top and lastly the showcase of the X which works just as expected and that's all for this video if you found it useful please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching